So today, I want to talk about food. Uh, in order to prep, you should always have food. And as I've said in the last uh, one of the videos beforehand, this is for fitness. It's not a bulletproof vest. But I want to show that we wear these constantly. It helps to become healthy. It helps to be able to carry things. It helps your body to be able to burn calories better and become stronger. Now that I've said that, food. Now, because this is Ayurvedic prepping, you probably think, oh, I'm going to talk about vegetables. Actually, I'm not talking about vegetables at all because, for one thing, real Ayurveda prior to 500 uh, AD didn't speak about vegetables. And secondly, vegetables, you have to have a lot in order to be able to maintain the amount of calories that you need to be able to survive and to thrive during situations. So what I want to talk about is protein and fat. Protein is some of the things I have here. So these are some of the meats and fish that we keep with us constantly. So if something happens, we always have food. This is actually our to-go when we go traveling. If we're traveling down to the Keys, this is extra food that's stuck in the truck, just in case. If we're traveling anywhere in the United States, we bring this just in case. So we have our own food, and then we have our specialty box. So in that, also you'll see that uh, we have dates. So we know when everything is expired. So we try to eat it before it expires, or shortly after it expires. There's a lot of videos that talk about how long meats and cans last and what you should look for after it's expired in order to be able to eat it without getting sick. But first, kippers. It's a type of fish. Actually, these are bee's favorite meat, fish, when we uh, are traveling. Tuna fish. This is albacore tuna, and I like to have it in olive oil because oil is more fat, and fat is more filling. So we keep that. Next is salmon. We keep a couple salmons. This is in water because they didn't have it in olive oil, so we just got it in water. Keystone. It's meat. It's not your best meat, but it works really well if something's going on. If we're stuck without food, this works really well. We get it in pork. We get it in ground beef, now pork again, and also chicken. By the way, this stuff's going up in price, so it shows that something weird is happening. This was $2 cheaper uh, less than six months ago. And then something that everybody hates, but actually we love, is Spam. We keep Spam with us because I'll cook it with eggs, and when we were over in Okinawa, their breakfast, the main breakfast that was served at every place we went to, and also most of the soups and stuff, had a couple slices of Spam in it. So having some scrambled eggs with some Spam cut up makes a great, great breakfast or a great lunch. Now with that, this is our food that we carry with us, and we also have this in our cupboards in case something happens. But I also want to talk about your refrigerated food and your freezer food. So for us, if something was going to happen, we would go and eat all the stuff in the refrigerator first. Because if we lost power, the refrigerated food's going to be the first thing to go. The next thing we would start working on eating would be the freezer food. We wouldn't eat this until everything else was either had to be thrown out or it was all gone. Now with that, we also keep in our freezer a lot of ice. So the freezer's got the frozen foods in it, and it also has ice in it. So when we know a hurricane's coming and we've lost power, we transfer a lot of that ice quickly into a uh, cooler. And we try to get the best cooler we can afford. And with that, we put all the food that's in the refrigerator into the cooler because the cooler will keep it longer than the refrigerator. And then we only open up the freezer when we have to open up the freezer. 
so that we take the food out as we go along and whatever we're eating that's in the freezer for the next day, we actually will put it in the cooler, let it thaw in the cooler because it's keeping the food cool that's in the cooler also. So you're getting double benefit out of it. You're keeping the cooler food cooler because you have frozen meat in there and you're also protecting more of your ketchup, your mustard, the things that you want to keep cool but you don't need frozen. So with that, this is the proteins and some of the fat that we keep with us. Other things we keep as far as fat is we have butter with us constantly. We keep it in the freezer. That way it stays frozen and we can use it for travel because it takes longer to thaw so it lasts longer. Olive oil, but not just any olive oil. We buy good olive oil because good olive oil is 100% olive oil. Also, we keep lard and tallow. And it's hard to find lard and tallow, so we actually make it ourselves. We render it ourselves. Lard lasts a long time. If you freeze it, it, lasts, it can last a year or so. If you put it in the refrigerator, they say three to six months. And then we, once it's gone, we make more lard. It's actually very easy to find pig fat and pretty easy to find cow fat and then all you do is render it and that'll be another video down the road but it cooks really well has a high smoke point and it will make your food taste better without getting the bad oils of some of the other stuff so those are a couple things that I just wanted to talk about we really don't carry chips uh, we don't carry uh, protein bars, we don't carry any of those types of things because we don't eat that. Everything here we would eat if we had to because when it goes bad, we're going to eat it. So we don't buy food that we'll throw out. We buy food that we can add to our meal for the week. So yes, we will have salmon. Yes, we might eat the pork next week. Actually, we don't have to because this is good till 524. So, but uh, we would eat this. We're not going to throw it out. So don't buy foods that you won't eat. And I know that a lot of the preppers talk about beans and rice. Eat, making, and it'll last 25 years. I don't want to eat a week's worth of beans and rice. So if, you, if that's all you eat, then go ahead and get a whole bunch of beans and rice. But we don't eat that crap. In fact, I don't remember the last time we had beans and rice. For one thing, it's not that tasty. And I know that you can make it taste, taste, taste great. But not for us. So beans and rice also aren't a solid point of good protein. And it's not a good fat. So once you eat beans and rice, you're going to probably need to eat it again later on. Where if you eat some solid fat and protein you might be good for the day. So if things are really bad, this will last V and I a full day. We would only have to eat one can a day if need be because then you're already full. The fat makes you feel full. The protein makes you feel full, but the fat really makes you feel full and carbs just make you hungry again. So also, when you're looking at what you're going to buy and store, there is essential fatty acids that you have to have or you'll get sick or die. Essential fatty acids. There is essential proteins, amino acids, that you have to have or you will either get sick and die. But there's no such thing as essential carbs. So you can go quite a while without carbs. For you, it might be you need it all the time. I'm not you. V and I can go weeks without carbs. In fact, we do. So when you're looking at what you want to put in your storage, make sure that you're putting something in that you'll eat later and that it will keep you satisfied so you don't have to constantly eat. Again, thank you, and we'll talk to you in the next Aerobated Prepping Course.